Hey everyone, happy Teacher Tuesday. I'm getting over a little cold or in the middle of a little cold, so don't mind the sniffles. Um, we told you yesterday that this whole week we are going to focus all of our posts on one miss, the honorable, the one and only Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And um, for Teacher Tuesday today, instead of focusing specifically on a law, we just want to tell you about why she is so badass and why of all the Supreme Court justices, you know, she has reached icon status. And it's because she truly spent her entire life fighting for equality and as an ally for women's rights, LGBTQ plus rights, um, just making sure that we are all treated equally as the Constitution was intended for us to. And so um, I can't imagine anyone not loving Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but I'm sure that there are people out there who don't. Um, but here's why you all need to at least appreciate and have some gratitude towards her for all of her incredible hard work. And men, I'm looking at you too, because um, her work affects every single one of us in our daily life every single day. Um, and we can start with some laws. There's so many, and I was able to find a website that kind of consolidated and just broke it down to five ways or five rights that we have because of the work and effort of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I laid her down, I shouldn't have. Okay, so the first one is employers cannot discriminate um, based on gender or your reproductive choices. and that's huge. So you're protected from being fired or not even considered for the job because of a plan perhaps to get pregnant. Um, so this, there's so many good quotes and so many good um, interviews and things like that you could find. And one of the more popular quotes of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's when it comes to bearing a child, which is so incredibly relevant right now, um, is that the decision of whether or not to bear a child is central to a woman's life, to her well-being, and to her dignity. It is a decision that she must make for herself. When the government controls the decision for her, she's being treated as less than a full adult responsible for her own choices. I'm gonna include that quote in this post because I feel like we all need to have that as a reminder. Maybe that'll be my next tattoo when COVID is over because I don't want anybody that close to me. Um, number two rule that affects us, especially women, day-to-day -day lives, state schools must admit women, state-funded schools. So no more like only men, you know, at Ohio State, let's say, um, or, you know, a, a state-funded school. And this was a decision that she led in 1996 when she was a Supreme Court Justice in a case United States versus Virginia. And it basically ended up where women should be able to join Virginia Military Institute and not have a whole separate school just for women. Um, that's another one of her popular quotes that we've heard has come from that case. And it says a gender line helps to keep women not on a pedestal but in a cage. So this whole separate but equal baloney that we've you know fought with race, same thing with gender in this, in this case. Um, Women have the right to financial independence and equal benefits. So my ladies, if you have a mortgage in your name, your own credit card, um, you know, a bank account, because of her work, you are able to have that in your own name and don't need a male co-signer. Um, we should all be able to develop our own talents, she's been quoted as saying. Um, now men, because of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's incredible work, men are entitled to the same caregiving and social security rights as women. This was the case that you all probably saw if you watched um, the movie about Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the basis of sex, where this, you know, a man was taking care of his, I believe his mother and wasn't married and was being denied caregiver benefits. And this case went up to the Supreme Court and it had, you know, she won that men, um, get survivor benefits. And um, it shouldn't matter, men, women, does not matter about gender. And the other law that I wanna tell you about and um, is because of her hard work, juries must include women. 
And this is where her famous quote that is on shirts and you know, I've all kinds of merchandise, I guess you could say for Ruth Bader Ginsburg is, women belong in all places where decisions are being made. So because of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, there are so many things day to day that we as women and men that you are able to do because of her hard work, because of what she fought for and stood for. And it is up to all of us to continue that legacy. And I will leave you again as a reminder, you know, she was appointed to the Supreme Court in 1993 by President Clinton. And I will go back to what I said last week as to why elections matter and why elections are so very, very important. Um, because of this nomination, because of her nomination in 1993 by Bill Clinton, we have, and I'm sure she would have gone on to make a difference and change the world, but being the second woman only appointed, you know, the second woman appointed to the Supreme Court and the work that she was able to do in her incredible poignant, well-written and just incredible dissents when she disagreed with the majority. We have such a, uh, our world is a better world. Our country is a better country. Our lives are better because of her work. And that is why elections matter because pre not just presidential ones, but in this case, presidents appoint Supreme Court justices. And once again, look where we're at right now with the last three that were appointed. And whatever your political affiliation, there is no way to disregard or discredit how your life is better because of the work of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So with that on this Teacher Tuesday, we hope it gives you some perspective and all that good stuff. And um, we'll see you tomorrow for Woman Up Wednesday. And no surprise there, I'm sure you know who we, who we will be honoring. Um, enjoy your day and um, you know, let's take care of each other, get vaccinated, mask up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.